Hi, my name is Wasim. I'm a software engineer and a student pilot working towards my private pilot license this year. And I'm super excited to share this video with you where I'm gonna take Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which just came out two days ago, and use it to fly over Miami Beach and recreate a flight that I actually did in real life about a month ago. I'm going to fly out of the same airport that I did in real life using the same airplane with the same weight and balance, flight plan, time of day, weather, and see how it compares with my experience and how I remember it. I have footage from my real flight, so I'm also going to share that with you. And I even have my uh, iPad app uh, for flight that I use for in-flight navigation while I'm flying in real life, but I'm also able to connect it to Flight Simulator 2020, so I'll also be able to use that. I'm super excited about this. Let's check this out. All right, here we go. Engine start checklist. Sea track back locked. Avionics off. Autopilot off. Throttle quarter inch. Mixture folding, brakes, clear prop, battery on, beacon light on, fuel pump on, mixture rich. We have fuel flow, fuel pump off. Mixer lean, clear prop, magnetos on. OBA lobby ground, set the November 6 by 1 by column for request. Maybe I'm sure. Set the November 6 by 1 by column for request. Set the November 6 by 1 by column for request. So currently we're on Taxiway Golf headed towards runway 27 right and all of the runway numbers are uh, correct in this simulator to the runway numbers that I know at Miami Opelaga Executive. The airport radio frequencies are also all accurate and uh, even in real life uh, this taxiway is taxiway golf uh, as it is instructed uh, in the simulator but ground told me to make a right at Foxtrot uh, and the place where you told me to make a ride at Foxtrot is actually November in real life. So it seems like Microsoft uh, did not map out all of the taxiways uh, accurately, um, except perhaps for the premium airports such as uh, you know San Francisco International or Miami International. Uh, but they got the important details, uh, most of the big important details right. Alrighty, we're holding short at 27 right, ready for departure. So we tune into tower, press takeoff. OPA, lock and tower set in November 6 five. one mic out for ready at runway 27 right, straight out to departure. Set in November 6 five. one mic out for clear, for takeoff runway 27 right, departing straight out through.
gonna get rid of the wind, make it a bit less bumpy. And because it's a simulator, I can do that. Okay, much nicer. Opalaka Tower, November 651, Mike Alpha, holding short of Niner left, ready for east departure. 651, Mike Alpha, caution weak turbulence on a departing G4, fly eastbound, runway 9 left, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff at Niner left, uh, caution weak turbulence, uh, November 651, Mike Alpha. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of room where you start uh, center line and adding power at the same time. Very good. Release the brakes. Yeah. Engine is in green. Earth speed is alive. Waiting slowly with the nose. Very good. No more than 10 degrees. Pitch down a little bit. Very good. Control, they're coordinating your... Uh, That's a big pull, yeah? Is that 853 Charlie Romeo back to ground? Affirmative, sir. Oh, I don't think I can see it. <laughs> oh, wow, that is a very big pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a nice color. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. My flight instructor pointed out that swimming pool uh, to me uh, while we were flying, and I can see it here in the simulator too. Hey, Make Charlie Romeo go back to ground control for coordinating. This looks amazing, by the way. All right, we're reaching the shoreline. I'm gonna to descend to 500 feet. You know, the other day that I was, you have flight control, I'm flying at 500 feet, I saw sorry, a lot of sharks, very close to the people, man. Like very close to people. Really? Wow. Yeah. Sharks? Sharks, yeah. Damn. Okay, make your right turn. And we're gonna descend to 500 feet. Alright.
So we're now flying by Miami Beach. And far off in the horizon, that is downtown Miami over there. And as you can see from the pointer, that's the American Airlines Arena. And uh, that's Brickell uh, further south. tip of uh, Miami Beach, so we're here at South Point, Miami Beach, and right south of that is uh, Fisher Island. Pushing you, that's why it's been a little bit difficult to turn. Yeah, <laughs> the wind is hitting you from the top. Okay, power now. Uh, we check for the normal 445 angle. November 5 single golf from my nine left, third land. Third, uh, complete the strength for the nine left. And one zero zero at one four. One zero zero one four, thank you. And the same way we go back, yeah. Oh yeah, facing that way is nice. Yeah. It's a good little flight, yeah? Yeah, very fun. Yeah. So now we're gonna start doing a lot of focus more in maneuvers and the cross country. We had to do some night night time. Oh yeah, so I'm I'm night very. Night time is very good. I'm so excited about night time flying. Yeah. Yesterday I land at nine actually. Oh, I you was, did? I was flying at night yesterday. Oh, nice. So far off in the horizon, you can see that there's this airplane flying. Uh, to my 10 o'clock. And what's crazy is that you can find this airplane flying in real life at that location uh, currently. So the simulator not only mixes a multiplayer, so all other flight simmers flying in the world, but it also tracks real flights happening in the world and overlays them into the simulator as well. I heard some uh, radio chatter about uh, United Airlines aircraft uh, landing into Newark uh, while I was flying in the simulator around New York City. And then I later looked up that flight number and indeed an airplane had landed into Newark Airport at the time that I was flying the simulator, which is crazy.
this is so much fun. As you can imagine, uh, the possibilities are just endless. You have so many different kinds of airplanes, and you can go practically anywhere in the world in this simulator. I've flown to uh, New York City, so I was one of the alpha testers for the simulator, so I've had it for a couple of months. And I flew over uh, New York City, San Francisco, Seattle, Hong Kong, uh, Seoul, South Korea, I've never been there. Uh, flew to Singapore, uh, Tokyo, and uh, I also flew uh, through Arizona, the, the mountains around Colorado, and Nevada, um, and I plan to, uh, I've never flown in those areas in real life, and I plan to do that later this year. Uh, so it's a great way for me to get some practice and familiarize my, myself with that area ahead of time uh, before, before getting into a real airplane. The other really cool thing about flying in this simulator is that all of the controls in this cockpit uh, work, and you can even use the Garmin manuals and the airplane manuals and to, to know how to uh, use all of these buttons in the cockpit. And uh, by training at home, instead of uh, real life, I'm saving a lot of money because in an airplane, I'm paying hundreds of dollars an hour, and uh, here I can just do that for free after having bought the simulator. Alright, we're headed back home. Opalaka Tower, November 651, Mike Alpha, 9 miles uh, east, inbound for uh, full stop with information Foxtrot. 651, Mike Alpha, Opalaka Tower, straight in, runway 9 west, Opalaka Tower, straight in, runway 9 right, report 3 mile final. 651, Mike Alpha, Opalaka Tower, straight in, runway 9 right, report 3 mile final. Still too high. November 6, Alpha Romeo, contact moment of departure, Roma 9.45. 1945, yeah. Don't forget the wind direction. Alright, uh, right. When you land, do wind correction. Even after the touchdown, you need to be in a little into the wind. But right now it's straight. Don't let the speed go down. Push down the nose, you see? Don't let the speed. Yeah, go ahead, add more power, more power. Very good, very good. You see, when we heavy, everything change. Go ahead, very good, very good, very good. Good. Nice. Uh, very good, we'll run effect, power idle, and landing is made. We just got away for the touchdown. Hold the nose slowly, very good, you got it. Just wait and hold the nose a little bit. You see, when it coming down, you hold the nose, it's a nice time. Very good, slow with the brakes. We got time, we're gonna go to a hotel. Very good. Alright. But you see how they change uh Yeah. It's not the same when we're that one mic off is this a termination? Hey Fim, out of goal, have to wait. Before six five one mic off is running for golf, hold short of runway one two o'clock. Yes, I called holding show one two or call six five one mic off. Very good. Uh, thank you. Very good. Uh, yeah, that was a, I definitely found I was like, oh, getting a little too low. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened. That's why our Earth series outline and when you heavy. All right, 
right? Or steer us to the out there? Let's find out. Yeah, a couple of buildings missing over here too. There's always some uh, FedEx airplanes parked here on the left. And to my right is supposed to be Atlantic Aviation. Uh, the building looks a little bit different. We do have some parked airplanes over here. Uh, that looks about right and there's a hangar, but there's definitely uh, way more airplanes in this area. Uh, the general picture is right, but the minor details are a little bit off. There we go. So that was a super fun flight. I think it was very, very close to real life. Uh, uh, the airplane uh, feels uh, fantastic. It feels just like how I would expect it to fly in real life. Uh, the air speeds are really good. Um, I can navigate around uh, and practice dead reckoning and pilotage skills and uh, even use the uh, instruments uh, in the cockpit. And uh, really, I think, I think what I'm most excited about is the ability to try uh, different kinds of airplanes and go to different parts of the world and, and see what they're like. I definitely want to explore uh, Europe more, go to France, uh, go to the Swiss Alps, and, uh, and see what it's like to uh, fly over there in different kinds of weather. I even heard uh, recently we had Hurricane Isai. Um, uh, recently we had Hurricane Isai. Uh, here on the East Coast and I heard there were people on Microsoft Flight Simulator using the live weather and chasing the hurricane and flying around it. Uh, that's something you definitely cannot do in real life. It's so cool that, to see that you can do that uh, in the simulator. Uh, so I hope uh, this gives you an idea of just the amazing uh, development uh, that are happening in the flight simulator and aviation space. Uh, this is just really cool from a technological perspective to be able to map the entire world uh, let alone uh, doing a uh, flight simulator on top of that. Um, so I hope more people will get into flight simulator and uh, more people will get into uh, general aviation uh, as uh, interest in this uh, increases and uh, the barriers to entry are reduced by uh, things such as uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and thank you for your time.